Today I want to take a look at the Microsoft Teams app templates and the adoption tool for Champion Management Platform, or CMP. It helps you inspire champions and subject matter experts within the organization, and groups can leverage the tool to manage program memberships, a leaderboard, event types for logging, tools to overlay digital badges. So what we're trying to do is engage our user community to become more experts and evangelists for teaching their coworkers a new technology. Having things like a leaderboard and digital badges can help with that as we kind of have those power users and liaisons in the business unit describing how to best use some of the new cloud technology. Switching over to the GitHub description, we can see a couple screenshots of the application, how it works. It is a SPFX app and it gets added to Teams. So we have a few different screenshots and employee view. You can add members, digital badge, yep, champion badge on their profile image. And this is done with an SPFX package, a manifest file that goes through the app catalog, and then finally is added to Teams with our add dialog. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and start this off by cloning the code into our local working folder with git clone. There we go. With the clone complete, we'll do code dot to open and view with VS Code. And here we can see some of our manifest files, and we'll come back to that in a second. And going through the GitHub install instructions, we have download or clone from GitHub, which we just completed. And there is a SPPKG file ready to go for SharePoint's app catalog. And there is a customization file of site config where you can change the field names and list names that are used for data storage underneath. I'll show you guys that real quick. It's over here under source, which is where all the good stuff would be in an SPFX project. Under the source folder, we have a site config JSON and an enumeration of all the different fields. No need to change that for what we're doing. We'll just go with the default SPPKG and we'll, it has inclusion path, site name, list, C names. So these are all the different fields and lists for data storage. So create the package, uh, install, build, ship, solution. But because we already have the package file ready, we're going to use the default one, go to app catalog and up. So switching over here to SharePoint Admin Center, we can see our app catalog under the more features. We'll navigate into that and we'll look at distributing apps for SharePoint. Here we can go ahead and click upload and browse for the SPPKG file. In Visual Studio Code, we can see that sits under the SharePoint Solution folder. And if we right click it, we can do copy path to take the entire path into clipboard and use that for our upload. Here we can paste the path to the SPPKG and then click OK twice to open the file. With the file uploaded, we get this prompt about deploy and a checkbox to make available to all sites in the organization. We do want to check that to yes for matching the instructions that we have over here in GitHub. So we'll turn on the checkbox, click deploy. We now see a line item in our app catalog for champion management, modified a few seconds ago, no errors. And if we refresh the screen, we'll see enabled is yes, valid is yes, deployed is yes, tenant deployed is yes. We have four different yeses, and that's letting us know that it was installed successfully. Back in the SharePoint Admin Center, we want to take a look at the advanced API access. Go and click to open that. And here we can see a couple of new line items. Here we have champion management for user read write, sites read write all, and sites manage all. There are three API permissions which are pending approval. We're going to go ahead and approve those now. Selecting the checkbox for each individual row, click Approve, click Approve a second time, check the row, click Approve at the top, and then click Approve in the bottom right. One last time, permission number three, Approve and Approve. Now we've approved all three of the API permissions needed for the champion management. 
I'm back on our GitHub instructions for installation, we'll see that we need to navigate to the app catalog and click the Sync to Teams button. That's kind of subtle because the screenshot's real small. So we want to make that a little bit clear here that we come back over and locate our champion management item. There is a button up here. We'll zoom in so we can see it real clear. It's called Sync to Teams. Not a button you use every day, but we're going to use it for this project. When we click that, we'll see on the right hand side that says successfully synced team solution with a little pop up window. So this is probably the most subtle step of the, the whole install is clicking the sync and getting the pop up and trying to navigate where where all that comes together. Next, we're going to go to Microsoft Teams and select the team and channel, both a team and a channel where we want to add a tab and we will select the champion management platform. So here we are looking at MS Teams. I've got one team and one channel, so that makes it easy. And at the top, we'll do Add a Tab. From here, I'm going to search for the word Champion. And I actually get no results found. I'm glad this is in here, because this is part of our troubleshooting steps. So I'm adding a tab to a single team and channel. Maybe I should go over to the Apps area in the bottom left corner. And on this, I'll search the left bar for apps and put in the word champion here. Because it's a little bit more global configuration. There we go. First search result that we see by using apps in the bottom left corner is in fact the champion management platform. And we have an add button with a pull down. Looking at the pull down, it says, do you want to add it to a team? Yes. Search for the channel name. I only have one on this particular tenant, makes it easy. We'll go with that particular channel and we'll click set up a tab. So the experience is not to go into the teams area on the left that, that we want to avoid. You actually want to go down here in the bottom left where apps are listed and you'll load it from, from the bottom left. When we load it, we see a pop-up window that says Champion Management Platform. Do you want to post to the channel about this tab? Yeah, sounds good. We'll do save. Now we can see the Champion Management tab starting to load here at the top with an introduction, welcome display, a Champion Leaderboard, Get Started Guide, and a description field. So if you wanted to rename and give it something branded for your particular organization, this would be a good place to do that. And just to get the screen to paint, I kind of switched over to a different tab and then switch back to the Champion Manager tab. Switching tabs at the top here forces uh, the interface to refresh, render, go do all of its connections. There may be some provisioning on the first visit that it's creating things in the background. So switching tabs to do a refresh, good idea, just so that you get the, the full, full experience. And here you can add members check out the leaderboard, look at digital badges, a lot of different settings that are available. We'll come in here and click on add members first, and we'll go ahead and type in one for suggested people, click save, user is already a champion. Okay, cool. Select the region, select the country, select the group, focus area. So I guess this is searching and filtering. There's our champion list. We have one person on our list. Cool. Click our back button. We'll go look at digital badges and we get a terms of use. Here's how your champion badge image will look. Click apply image to update your profile picture with this new image. Interesting. So it puts like a little, little bar across the left there and you can download it. I'll right, click apply image. There was an error, close all browser windows. This may be because I just added myself. And I may need to come back and attempt that again. Champions list takes us actually out to a SharePoint list. So that's interesting. It's storing the data in a SharePoint list. So if you wanted to do anything with grid view, export to Excel, set up your own views, definitely can. There's champion events, add members, digital badge, leaderboard, See if the leaderboard will open. 
Well, and that shows how we can install the Champion Management Platform. It will get displayed within a team, within a channel. So you want to think about which channel it makes sense to surface this in and where you'd like to put the, the tab for navigation. And then who would you like to add for your members? And then from there, you can set up different events, have the champions host events, educate the user community, and track all of that with the leaderboard. Thanks for watching.